Hi and welcome back to Let's Play The Settlers 3 with me at Nitty. Last time I said I would gather up a bit of stuff to build an army and here it is. <laughs> uh, I think that should be enough for the enemy down here. If it isn't I really have a problem. Um, also I I um, started to expand my border here again because uh, stone is kind of uh, going away on the map. Now, where could I perform this miracle? There. Can you not perform the miracle there? Or is it just too far away? Probably was too far away. Let's move him up there. So... We have a couple of soldiers here. I think currently we are bottlenecked by... Um, settlers. So I ordered three large residences to be built up here. But until that is done... We will take our army and raid yellow enemy. So, let's see. We have iron ore, that's okay. Um, that's all okay. How much, what's our fighting force? Just 83%. So on your land, I think it's always 100% the fighting force. So it's just relevant when you actually attack on neutral or enemy ground. And it can actually go above 100%. So at one point, when you have enough gold, uh, it becomes more efficient to attack, uh, well, to attack instead of defend. In the beginning, it's more efficient to defend also here. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of coal there. Ah, there's not enough mana for that. Alright, so... We have the army here. Let's all fight this army. As you can see, my soldiers are clearly better trained and make short work of them. Uh, but these guys have archers in the tower, which means we will have to... Or I want to destroy that immediately. If I can do so. Alright. Good, good, good. They can s continue firing once it's under attack. Now you will see they have more than one swordsman in it. That's actually a well-trained soldier. Now the first archer was taken out, the second archer is taken out, and the third archer is taken out. So they can hold six soldiers, three swordsmen and three um, bowmen. Uh, so yeah. These ones can take one melee fighter and two archers, and the castle, I think, can take one, two, three, four, five melee dudes and four archers or something like that. We'll try that out as soon as we have defeated this yellow enemy. So the army of him is already dead. Can I set the waypoint here? No, cannot. It's too bad. Wish I could have set the waypoint to up here. Also, that thing is almost done and from that point on we can recruit a couple more soldiers. Alright. Uh, I think we have defeated the yellow player. Which means just blues remaining. Alright. 
there we go. So with that, we will move our army up here. And... Uh, well, actually, let's speed up things a bit to connect our border. So, like that. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of battle messages because I captured this. Uh, the stone cutter cannot find any rocks. Well, I expected this to happen at some point. So we'll remove it and rebuild it here. Uh, gold has been found. That's great. I also expect this stone cutter not to find any rocks. Perhaps it did not trigger because he cannot work anyways because he has eight stones in front of, the, of his um, his uh, hut. So there we go. We have this area conquered. We could now build stuff on it but I don't know it's <laughs> it's over anyways with my small army now we can get a bit of that which means we can get more fighting force we are at 86 percent um, not sure there is a bit of gold here. Not too much. Now here we have a ton of gold. Um, yeah. Actually it takes uh, quite a bit of gold, I realize, since we are only at 86% now. Alright. Let's just speed up things a bit. Can make another wonder. All right. So the wonder also has the chance of giving stones. So somehow it's not a limited resource, but it is uh, not a reliable source of stone. So if you are at the stage where you have to rely on uh, on your priests getting the stone you are well not exactly well off now looks also like uh, 100 soldiers is the maximum you can select at one time but that shouldn't be a problem once they have made their way through here Alright. Okay, we conquered that tower. Now the army is coming. My archers are a bit lagging behind, but that's okay. Also, I wanted to test how many soldiers we can get in here, so if I say maximum garrison. So it's six and four, looks like. All right. Now that's quite a fight we have here, but uh, I still have superior numbers. And with that, it's done. <laughs> All right. And once archers are down here in the door, fighting against melee enemies, they don't stand a chance. So we will just speed things up since they are no threat at all. Oh, they still have army here. Interesting. So perhaps I shouldn't have sped it up that much, since now my swordsman walked to the front and got decimated quite a bit now fight up here hopefully that's the last bit of their army so it's obviously not healthy for them to fight this swordsman and being bombarded by arrows 
But I may have to get another batch of melee dudes to conquer the towers. And here we also have a couple of dudes standing around. And freshly recruited guys as well. So here we have the fully occupied tower as well. Uh, you guys just attack that. Two fully occupied towers right beside each other. That's uh, quite a bit of firepower actually. And the spearmen that are attacking don't have the strength that the swordsmen have, so really for occupying buildings, swordsmen are really the way to go. And the archers can't do anything against the towers, so they're just standing around. Alright. Well, I think we have... Well, down here I probably want to attack the next. Look at all the gold standing around. I think I'll leave these two towers for the time being. And draw my army down to the industry, industrial sector. They have the melting place here, but here we, they have the um, storage areas. You guys just walk in here. Is that guy being attacked? Alright, so we need this building and we should get quite a bit of gold from that. Uh, not yet, alright. Soon enough. So. I think I'll speed up again. That's good. Now we got a bit of gold. That's great. Uh, we have conquered that. I don't think they have a lot more to uh, to resist us. They can surely not um, recruit any more soldiers. And with that we should have one. Looks like they have another fully garrisoned tower up here. And indeed they have. Which we will um, rectify immediately. Alright. There we go. I mean, it has obviously been lucky that the both enemies, well, either it has been lucky or it has been set up the way that they would run into a, a dead end. But it was obviously not exactly a hard mission, but I think there will be harder missions up ahead. <laughs> okay, come on. Yes, there we go. Now we should have one. Yes, we do. So with that I will save here. So I should be able to start here from uh, the next time. Also reveals the whole map. That's actually nice. And lets you build on, basically. Good, I think I'll end the episode here a bit shorter since the last couple of episodes I think have been uh, on the longer side. So, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the second mission of the Roman <laughs> campaign from the base game. <laughs> also now all enemy settlers will start dying. It's kind of... Um, Terrible. <laughs> well, as I was saying, hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Have a nice day and goodbye.